Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a simple marabou streamer. This is going to be a bead butt marabou streamer. This is going to be a good fly for crappies. The hook I have in the vise is a octopus hook. We're going to start with 10 thousandths lead wire. I have a 3 millimeter bead on here. And I have the bead on, I put the bead on backwards so that the large opening is going to go towards the eye. We're going to start, we're going to put some lead wraps on here. And yeah, give it about 12 of them. And just pull off that back section. Now, the large part of the bead is in front and it will go over the lead, lead wraps. We don't want it all the way up front, so we're just going to move everything to the rear just a little bit. Just leave yourself a little bit of room, maybe one eye length in front and back of the eye. I'm just going to take black thread and this is 8-70 denier. We're going to put a little bit of thread there. We want to keep it a thread base about one eye length. And then we can secure the lead wraps. And you don't want to make too many wraps in back of the lead wraps, but you want to be able to hold it there. I'm going to go ahead and remove that excess. And we want to cover these over. I'm going to spread, spin my bobbin counterclockwise so that it will flatten out. And it will make it a little bit easier to cover over the lead wraps. Just give that a good spin counterclockwise. And you'll see it flatten out. My side is already covered. For some reason it covers quicker on one side than the other. We got a nice flight flat there now. We just want to hide the hook shank. Now you can take your super glue, put a little bit on the shank. And that will secure your lead wraps and then push your bead butt up into place. And let the super glue grab a hold of that and hold it there. Now we're going to take marabou. We're going to take some white. And I'm not going to take a lot of it because we're going to use three colors. I'm going to take just a little bit. And I'm going to get saliva on my fingers. And we're going to control that. We're going to take some yellow and get slime on your fingers. And I'm going to take some black. And with the black I'm going to take twice as much. I'm going to put all three colors together. I could even make that black I'm going to put the white and the yellow the same length, and I'm going to make the black slightly longer. And we're going to go ahead and tie them in right behind the butt, or right in front of the butt. And we'll remove that excess. Trim away any of the fluff you got there. And you can wrap this down. Your
your marabou should be right on top. I'm going to take a dark soft hackle. I'm going to tie this in by the tip. And we'll remove the excess. And move that thread back up to one eye length. Take our hackle and pull everything to the one side as we're going. There we go, maybe one more wrap. And we'll tie that off. And remove the excess. Pull everything away from the eye and tie off our head. And when you're tying off the head and you want to have a lot to cover, you could go ahead and spin that thread in the opposite direction to flatten it out. And it will help cover it quick better. Take our whip finisher, trim that off, take some head cement, And here we have a bead butt marabou streamer. You could change the color combinations for crappie. White and chartreuse would be a great combination. All chartreuse. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.